Hello. Welcome to another video sponsored by Patron X. Nah, that was kind of lame. Hi guys, welcome to Lee Reacts. I hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. And we are back with another pick from the enigmatic, the mysterious, the really, really cool guy, <laughs> Patron X. And we're going to be listening to a new band on the channel. St. Paul and the Broken Bones, I believe is the name, which is a freaking awesome band name. Yep. And the track is called Grass is Greener. It's from the Our Vinyl Sessions. It's a live uh, studio, I think, sort of video. Um, very excited. Uh, he talked these guys up, said they were pretty good. Um, I know it's more of a modern thing. And uh, we try to, you know, I do modern stuff. I've, I do everything, you know, but I guess I've been stuck in all these rabbit holes in the 60s and 70s that I really haven't had much time to do um, newer stuff. We've d dibbled and dabbled, you know, and we've found a couple good bands, of course. But um, I'm excited. Let's do it. If y'all are not subscribed, please help a brother out. Click that icon right below my face. If you want to see more of this band, more of this style, whatever you want to call it, um, leave a like, subscribe, comment, whatever. Join the Patreon and we'll get it going. Uh, da -da. I had the thing up. I always do this. I click. Uh, I'm never looking at the right thing. And then I click out of it. St. Paul and the Broken Bones. Okay. Let's do it. All right. Grass is greener, St. Paul and the Broken Bones. In three, two, one, go. Grass is greener. They're from Birmingham, Alabama. <laughs> Turn ourselves around Remember when Those sweet memories Used to soothe us Used to make us smile oh. We put up I don't know about that. I was about to say you had soul. <laughs> Remember we those sweet sugar thoughts They can't make me no more Cause it have to be so unhappy We put on our Sunday best We live a quiet man I love the the setting. That's so cool. Got to give a time. Got to feel time. Got to have time. Got to love time. Time. Yes. Got to have time. Good God. Accents are great. Wow. I don't have any comparisons. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> the boobs. I know, baby. Hey. 
delicioso. Ah, oh, the little kid, I love it. That man got some soul. Like dilapidated Main Street building. Cars going by. Wow, what a setting, dude. Wow. Click here to subscribe. Boop. <laughs> that. Uh, wow. That was amazing. Thank you, Patron X, for sending that in. Um, it was like a blend of like indie, alt rock from the 2010s, jazz, soul. Like that was such a strange blend of styles and genres, honestly. Uh, but it completely worked. Like they really made that shit work. The guitars were very kind of like 2010s indie, alt rock, like I said. Uh, the horns uh, definitely brought like a jazzy vibe to it and um the vocals are pure soul so are the drums the drums are more jazzy too i guess but everything was really soft the dynamics are they worked great there's a roller coaster ride you know the entire way they really built up for that intense ending there and it really paid off they earned it it was a short song but they they got there pretty quickly and um it's a really good emotional payoff it felt like very cathartic feeling just to like Almost like you're screaming. It's, you know, the one person you want to scream at and they can't yell back at you. You know, it's just that feeling of catharsis and letting all this stuff out that's been building in and building up, you know. Because we take in so much crap during the day. 90% of it we don't even realize, but our subconscious realizes. And um, then we consciously um, exhibit those, uh, those, I don't know, they they fester into symptoms. And then you, get, then you have to, what's the word? Oh, no, I'm an addict. I should know this word. Um, cope. You have to cope with said things and the problems. Is just, that's how we develop things. And we always have all these problems. We just, you know, we it's what we bring into ourselves. The food we eat, the things we watch, the music we listen to, the people we listen to. It all manifests itself eventually within, you know, and without. So it's really good to, I think, let it all out sometimes because uh human beings we are not perfect and we will never will be no matter how hard we try um and it's just never going to work out that way and no matter how many tower of, towers of babbles that we build trying to get to heaven you know i don't know man earth ain't so bad i know we're uh, killing each other in the dirt half the time but at the same time this is a beautiful world it's our eden and we're just uh and I'm no like environmentalist, climate changeist kind of person either. I'm not like that, but we do need to take care of our planet better. Uh, the plastics, just everything, man. And uh, see, I always get lost. I'm like, wait, wait, how the fuck did I get here? <laughs> um, all right, so let's talk about St. Paul and the Broken Bones. Oh no, there's members that have been gone. Okay, hold on. I don't know what this one's off of. Well, I'm going to guess the lineup. I don't know what year this is from. Uh, see, like the only album that has even a personnel list is this one. And I don't know what album this is from. Um, see, St. Paul and the Broken Bones. Like, oh, okay, all right. So it's the band was composed of Paul Janeway on vocals, uh, Broen Lawler on guitar, Jesse Phillips on bass, Kevin Leon on the drums, Al gamble on the keys didn't see a key player um alan branister on trumpet uh chad fisher on trombone and so i'm guessing that's what that's who this was southern soul and soul so yeah soul music i don't know i definitely felt some kind of jazz twinges and hard rock in there too i really liked the guitar uh the vocals obviously are my favorite thing though that man uh janeway <laughs> captain janeway I wonder if that's his her son um just kidding uh it's a very I don't know, man. He's got so much, what's the word? Pizzazz? Like, he just, he's letting it out. He's dancing. He's singing. He's putting it all out on the line there, it felt like. And I know that was a very intimate recording session, sort of 
like in an old abandoned Main Street building in Americana, you know, Midwest somewhere. There's cars driving by, buildings falling apart. It's almost like a symbol, it's symbolism almost for like whatever relationship or whatever he's talking about. It feels like, it, you know, everything's falling apart and you think the grass is greener on the other side. And uh, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Sometimes you take a jump that you shouldn't have and you regret it the second your foot leaves the ledge sort of thing, you know. Uh, but you got to stick by your choices, but you also have to admit when you make mistakes because uh, it's okay to be wrong. It's okay to be wrong. That's something I had to come to terms with as somebody who um, more or less was a child prodigy, I guess, in reading and comprehension and in information intake <laughs> as a kid. Uh, you hear all kinds of things, but it's... Um, I don't know. Coming from someone like that, it's just, it's hard to really get there. I'm trying to think just like what it made me feel because it reminded me of like strife and like personal relationships and stuff like that. And I don't know, man, it was powerful. His vocals are powerful. Um, drumming was very jazzy. Like I said, the dynamics were very well done. And then when he needed to pick up the intensity, he absolutely did. Uh, that you could feel the pressure almost mounting and building in the song as it went along. And then that final just release of tension at the end there where he just lets it all out. Beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful. So if you guys have any other tracks by this band you think I'd like or the channel might like, please leave them below. Or if Patron X wants to send another request, then I'll do that You know, within a few days or next week or whatever. Um, I'm totally down. Because uh, I, I know they call that soul or southern soul or whatever, but I, I really heard a lot of different genres in that. They have a very interesting style, and I'm interested to hear more. <laughs> Click here to see more. I wish I could, but we don't have time for that. So thank you for watching, guys. I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, like I said, definitely the vocals were my favorite part of this. Like that man, good God. I know his last name is Janeway. Paul Janeway. I'm going to have to look him up, man. I, that, that was one hell of a voice. I love his dancing. Like I said, he was just getting it the whole time, bro. It was crazy. <laughs> I loved it. I love finding modern bands that have some life in them because it's so hard to find that nowadays. So much of it is just like industry plant, commercialized, just nonsense. It's not even music, you know? And if it is music, it's just music that they're mining from the 60s, 70s, and 80s and sampling it and redoing it. It's all we do with movies. Like, all, is that all we got left, guys? Is just remaking the stuff we've already made? We don't have anything new? There's no more new stories to tell or music to make? I don't know, man. I feel like that's we're just in like this remake culture. We just remake the things that we like instead of trying to challenge ourselves to go in different directions and maybe confront some things we don't want to, you know? That's just one man's opinion. <laughs> I think we all need to grow the fuck up. I think a lot of people do. Not you. You're fine. But a lot of people do. I think we've been infil inf infant infantilized. I'm, uh, words are hard. Um, I feel like we've just been turned into these just adult children. At least my generation. Uh, if it wasn't you know the father not being there, uh, parents being there not teaching correctly, uh, or just kids not giving a shit because they're distracted by so much other things. You know, like. I had a really weird upbringing, but at the same time, I could have done so much better as a child. But, I mean, I can't really help that my dad died, and I got depressed, and I found drugs, and I found women, and it was a wrap from there, you know? I, I, I don't know. There was a lot of choices I could have made, but my situation and the hand I was dealt, uh, I could have played the hand better. I definitely could have. I have had a lot of chances to turn it around before I did, but I guess I wasn't ready. But it feels good to be good, as they say. Um, but yeah, if you have any other tracks by them, leave it down below. I'd really appreciate it. If you all don't know, we have a Patreon right here. That is a picture of it. There is a link in the description. If you join the $15 tier or up, you get one free request a month. Um, if you join any of the tiers, you get access to all the albums on there, all the block content, behind the scenes content. I post uh, all kinds of stuff in there. Pictures of me and the girls. Uh, our little adventures we have together when I see them and um, all kinds of stuff. We have fun. We have a Discord server. If you're into that, uh, come hang out and chat with us. We also, I think we're almost at 400 folks on Patreon. We have a really big community. I can't believe how much we've grown just within a couple months. I'm so grateful for all of you guys and all you do for me and my family. It really means the world to me. It really does. Thank you. Um, thank you for allowing me to do this and enter your homes and your screens and ah, help. I'm trapped in here. Help let me out. 
Um, <laughs> seriously, it means a lot. Uh, and there's also a PayPal link in the description for tips, requests, and anything else that I saw PatronX sent this in. If you'd like to send a request in, go right ahead. The rules and guidelines are on Patreon, but just expect it up to 30 days. I'll usually get it done within a week, though. But I have up to 30 days technically to do it. Just letting you know. And uh, that is it. Take it easy. Don't let the sound of your own wheels drive you crazy.